Throughout The Sopranos, food features very heavily, and amongst the myriad characters of the show, one of the greatest fans of food is clearly the capo, Vito Spatafor. No offense. Following his appalling betrayal of Paulie Gaultieri in season six. I can't believe I stuck up for him. I feel like I've been stabbed in the heart. Vito flees from sunny New Jersey to the uplands of New England, ostensibly so that he can escape being murdered by his own associates for his lifestyle choices. Tone. When he was always talking about Greece and the Union, who knew that's what he meant? <laughs> While there, Vito splits his time between writing a book about boxing, attempting to do manual labour, and having gay sex with a fireman, in order to continue his commitment to a long-running joke he has with fellow New York mobster Sal. Sal, please, it's a fucking joke! Right. Sure. Say hi to your wife. The other thing Vito enjoys on his little vacation is eating at the town diner, Specifically, he develops a taste for another New England treat, Johnny Cakes. As Jim, the diner chef, explains, Johnny Cakes are pancakes made with white cornmeal, a New England specialty. Well, they're delicious. A little butter, local syrup. So, don your favorite velour tracksuit, stock up on vodka, and get a note from your doctor. A note from your doctor saying you don't like to suck cock? Because today we're making Johnny Cakes. As Jim explains, Johnny Cakes are cornmeal based. Take one cup of cornmeal and add half a teaspoon of salt. Now add one and a half cups of boiling water, stirring the cornmeal as you do so. I'm also going to add some butter to the mixture. Stir the mixture well until it forms a nice semi-thick batter. Now set to one side for 10 minutes. Vito requests sausage with his Johnny Cakes, but as the diner's sausages are made in-house, I'll be making some of my own. For the sausage seasoning, you'll need thyme, sage, and basil. Chop all the herbs finely and put them to one side. I don't have a meat grinder, so I've bought some pre-ground sausage meat. Add the herbs to the sausage meat, along with a generous helping of pepper and salt. Mix well. Now to stuff the sausages. I don't have a sausage stuffer, so I had to improvise with half of an old plastic water bottle. Word to the wise, I'd advise you to just buy your own breakfast sausages, as this step was an enormous pain in the arse. Take sausage casing, tie off one end, and attach the open end to the bottle. This will function as a funnel. Now stuff the sausage meat through the bottle funnel, filling the sausage casing. This step is rather tricky. The sausage casing kept slipping off the funnel, but eventually I managed to get a decent amount in. When you're happy, twist each segment to create links. Add the sausages to the pan with a little oil and cook them until they've browned off a bit. Then transfer to the oven to cook while you fry the Johnny Cakes. Heat a pan up to medium high heat and add a decent amount of oil to the pan. Now add a ladle full of batter to the hot pan for each Johnny Cake, forming neat round pancakes. Watch the Johnny Cakes closely as they cook, ensuring that they do not burn. A few minutes on each side will suffice. Flip every few minutes until they're golden brown. When they've finished cooking, you can plate them up. Make sure to add butter and some maple syrup to the plate. Finally, add the sausages to the plate. The Johnny Cakes are slightly thicker and heavier than regular pancakes but are very tasty with the addition of butter and maple syrup. Now you too can enjoy some homemade Johnny Cakes. Can't let your mind dwell on. Turn that off. 